To perform the tasks, we have different options at the top of the S Pro. If we click on the zoom button, we will be able to zoom in or zoom out the signal we are viewing. All we have to do is drag from left to right and it will automatically maximize the X axis. If you want to maximize the Y axis, we have this option, maximum vertical zoom, which allows us to maximize the Y axis when we zoom in on the signal. If I wanted to zoom out, I would have to drag from the right to the left. I can also move around in the signal if I hold down the right mouse button. I can move to one side or the other. We can also zoom in and out with the mouse wheel. Once we have the signal clear, we have to find the start and the end time for each of the tasks. Here we have several options. The first one is to look through the clock. If we click twice, we will be able to see in the upper left part. It also, if you have used the clicker during the session, you can drag the marks to the channel and automatically see the marks that have been made. If I've also used SVivo, we have the option of being able to import the task from SVivo to SPro. Once I have these options of reference, we'll undertake the task. To do this, we have to click on the Select Mode button. And here, the operation is very simple. The only thing we have to do is drag from left to right to perform the task. If you want to rename the task, all you have to do is click on the right button, go to the rename option and enter the name of the task. Now, if you want to make an analysis of the active times of the player, if for example a player in a task has not played during a whole task, we can do it by clicking on the button, show hide selection panels. Here, what we will see is each of the bars, which represent the active time of each of the players within that task. To change this, we have two options. First, by clicking on the bar, we can set the time the player has played. Here, for example, we're going to put 15 minutes. Once I have set the time, I click on this option to apply the size adjustment. The second option is by moving this cursor, which I remind you, you can be, be moved by clicking twice on the channel and can also be moved here at the top. With this cursor, what we're going to be able to do is to split the bar. To do this, we click on the bar we want to divide and click on the option divide from cursor. Now I click on the part I want to delete and click on delete. This way, I have done the analysis of the player's active time.